They're vegan, no? Yeah, but it is. Well, you don't like right. them because they're. I think most cookies are. Oreos are vegan. No? Yeah. What's up, guys? It's George and Yuyu, and today I'm with one of my students, Sam. Uh, this is gonna be the second part of the first video we did on five ways to defend the jab. Today, we're gonna do five ways to counter the jab. If you haven't seen the last video where I go over five ways to defend the jab, you can check it out up here. This is a continuation video. So what do we do after we defend the jab? We're gonna counter. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out right now. And then come back to this one so you can learn how to counter. All right, real quick, before we begin, you're gonna need a partner. Put your gloves on and we're gonna throw a realistic jab. Okay, we're gonna get in our boxing stance. He's gonna throw a jab at me and if I don't react, I'm gonna get hit. Ready? Good, do it again. Do it again. Good, all right, this time he's being a good partner. Last video, he wasn't being a good partner. He was doing, he was kind of scared. So be a good partner and throw a realistic jab. It doesn't have to be hard. You're not trying to knock him out, but throw a realistic jab. So you're actually helping your partner out. All right, so there's gonna be many punches to counter the jab with each movement that we do. And I'm gonna briefly go over all of them. But the first thing we're gonna do is defend and then counter. Real quick, before we begin, we're both standing orthodox, which means his left foot is forward and my left foot is forward, here. The first way we're gonna counter the jab is gonna be the step back and the two. His momentum is moving forward, so I'm gonna catch him as he's coming forward. I'm gonna make him miss the jab and then throw my cross. So he's gonna throw the jab, boom, and I'm gonna throw my cross. Do it again, jab, boom, cross. Jab, boom. So very simple, I'm doing a step back and as soon as my back foot lands, I'm throwing my cross. Now, one more time. Now he can throw his jab, and, of and again, you guys can be as creative as you want with this. You can follow up. So let's say, let's do it slow, throw your jab. I'm gonna take a step back. I'm gonna throw my cross, upper, cross, or I can throw, do it again, do it slow, throw your jab. I can take a step back, cross, body, cross. There's so many ways you can counter the jab with the step back, but the main one is a step back, Right cross. One more time, it's gonna look like this. Step, cross. One more time, step, cross. All right, so that's the first way we're gonna counter the jab. We're gonna do a step back, right cross. All right, the second way to defend the jab, we're gonna use the slip. Now, I'm gonna slip to the outside first, and then I'm gonna slip to the inside. Just be aware, when you slip to the inside, if he throws a jab, and you slip, throw a jab, you slip to the inside, you can still get caught with the right cross. So you gotta be quick. So. The first one we're gonna do, slip to the outside. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stay in the pocket. I'm gonna slip to the outside. Here, let's do it slow. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna slip to the outside here. I'm gonna change levels a little bit and I'm getting my head off the center line. Here, and that's a perfect time to throw my right cross or I can throw a loopy overhand right. So throw your jab here, boom. I'm coming over the top. Again, you can throw it straight if you want or a loopy right hand, throw it. Boom, bam, over the top. You can bring him back. Okay, cool. Go, boom, again, boom, again, boom. And again, you can throw, you can pretty much be as creative as you want. You can slip, slip and throw the cross to the body, slip or throw the right hook to the body, slip, right hook to the head. There's so many options. You can slip and even throw the jab, but that's gonna be for the change levels part. Now we're gonna counter slipping to the inside. So I'm gonna slip to the inside and I'm gonna throw, I have options. I'm gonna throw a left hook first. I'm gonna throw a left hook to the head. It's gonna look like this. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm gonna counter his jab by slipping to the inside and coming with a hook. Now it's, it's easier to throw the hook when you slip to the inside because you're putting that weight on that front foot. If you're putting that weight on that lead foot, it's easier to come back and throw with your lead hand. So, first one, we're gonna slip to the inside and counter with the hook. Boom, again, boom, again, boom. Good, second one, we're gonna slip to the inside and go to the body. Bah, 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 bah. So the last one, I'm gonna slip to the inside, I'm gonna throw a lead uppercut or the left uppercut. And again, you can be creative, you can throw your follow-up shots. So let's do it slow. Let's say I wanna throw more than two punch, more than one punch. I'm gonna slip, throw the jabber hook. I'm gonna slip, I'm gonna throw up, cross, body, cross. You can be as creative as you want. Mix up the combination. So 
we have the slip to the outside, cross, and slip to the inside, hook. All right, the third way to counter the jab is gonna be the parry and cross. I'm gonna use the same hand, it's gonna be quick. Because we're countering, you don't have to take that half step back. If you're only defending, I recommend you take a half step back as you parry. So if you're just defending, it's gonna look like this. Here, notice my, notice my feet, let's move this way. So he's gonna throw the jab, boom. I take a half step back just to be safe, to make sure I'm out of position so he can't hit me and I pretty much can't hit him. But since I'm gonna counter this time, I'm gonna stay there, I'm gonna catch his jab and come over the top with the cross. I'm gonna stay there, he's gonna throw the jab, I'm gonna parry, throw the right hand. Again, 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 again. Notice, I'm just parrying very small. I'm not, throw the jab, I'm not bringing his hand down here. All right, exactly. If, I, if I'm overdoing it, I'm gonna get out of position, he's gonna be able to hit me. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing the same side, a lot of people don't feel comfortable parrying with the right hand and throwing the right hand. You can parry with the left. It might be a little easier if you're gonna counter with the right hand. So he throws his jab, I'm gonna parry, throw over the top. Do it again. And again, you can follow up with other shots. If you want, you can parry and then throw that left uppercut up the middle. And again, you can add it to it. So, you parry, we have the cross, or you can even throw a parry jab. So, he's gonna throw his jab, I'm gonna parry, and I'm gonna throw my jab over the top. Do it again. So you have options here. So that's the third way to counter the jab. All right, so the fourth way to counter the jab is by changing levels. So, he's gonna throw his jab, all I'm doing is changing levels, and with this, I could either throw the cross to the body or I can throw my own jab to the body. And very simple, the changing levels, I'm standing in front of him like this and all I'm doing is taking a little half squat. I'm in my boxing stance, boop, straight down. So he's gonna throw the jab and I'm gonna counter with my own jab first. Here, notice I just changed levels. Again, good. So the first way is change levels and throw the, your own jab. The second way, he's gonna throw the jab and I'm gonna throw my cross. You gotta hit me, bro, you gotta hit me, hit me. Hit me, go. So that's the fourth way to counter the jab. Change levels and throw your own shots. All right, so the fifth way to counter the jab is by smothering. Now this one, it's kind of frowned upon, um, but you know, sometimes you just, it's a fight, fight's a fight and I'm not necessarily encouraging this, but if this is your last form of defense, if this is the only way you can counter, then go ahead and do it. Um, so he's gonna throw the jab, and I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna try to work my way in and clinch and hold him. And after I do that, that's a form of defense, and after I do that, then I can hit him in the side, hit him in the ribs a little bit, hit him in the head, just one thing for sure, do not hit your partner or do not hit anyone in the back of the head. Just never, don't ever do that because that's dangerous. You know, this is how fighters get hurt. This is how, this is how you know, they're called rabbit punches. If you hit them below the waist, behind the ear, all that's illegal. You can hit them in the, anywhere from the ear forward is fine. Anywhere from the waist up is fine. And make sure you don't hit your partner in the back. He's gonna throw a bunch of jabs. I'm trying to defend. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna smother, punch, punch, over the top. They're gonna be like, that's illegal. It's not illegal. Just don't hit him below the waist and don't hit him in the back of the head. That's it. So he's throwing his jab, bunch of jabs. I'm, I'm getting caught. He's hitting me and he's hitting me. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna work my way in here so you guys can see. And I'm throwing, throwing, throwing. And as soon as I let go, as long as the referee doesn't say break, I'm going to let go of this hand. I'm going to bring it back pop, and throw the hook over the top. So these are professional gloves. These are 10 ounces. I still fight in 8 ounce gloves and it doesn't take much. This isn't a traditional shot, right? We're smothering. Let's see, I'm, a, I'm getting a hold of him here and I'm punching, I'm punching, I'm punching his arm. Punch whatever you can. This is a fight. Punch, punch, punch. 
I'm, I'm telling you, these small gloves, he's going to feel this. Tomorrow he's going to be sore. Hell yeah, I'm already <laughs> feeling it. <dude. laughs> All right, guys, so that was the fifth way to counter the jab using the smother. Again, like I said, it's not traditional. It's nothing pretty. In fact, it's actually kind of ugly and kind of dangerous. But like I said, do not hit your partner in the back of the head. Do not hit your opponent in the back of the head. Do not hit him below the belt and don't hit him in the back. Keep it clean, but keep it dirty. Yeah, keep it clean, but keep it dirty. Keep it clean, but keep it dirty. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment below. What is your favorite way to counter the jab? Me personally, I like to do the step back, right? Actually, I don't know. I don't know what my favorite is. What's your favorite? Perry. Perry. All right, Perry and then cross, Perry and jab. Perry. Counter though, which is your favorite way to counter? Parry the jab. Parry the jab, exactly. Yeah. That's it. Pro that's probably, parry jab is probably the fastest one and yeah. the easiest one to pull out. Pop, yeah. pull off. It's the easiest one to pull off, not pull out. Parry, jab. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Thanks.